While the majority of people could experience only mild symptoms with COVID-19, it can have detrimental effects on others who deal with underlying diseases every day. And new tonight, TSV 11's Melissa Zikowitz spoke with a woman with MS who shares her story about why it's so important for people to stay home and not expose the virus to people like her. And this is my handy dandy wheelchair. Pam Lewis has battled multiple sclerosis for decades. With MS, usually you have an overactive um, immune system. The medication she is taking right now suppresses it. I have no protection right now. It's like chemotherapy. Which is why she is taking extra precautions as Arkansas sees more cases of COVID-19. I'm not going to get into big crowds. You know, I don't, I'm not going to church right now. So what would a virus like this do to you? Probably take me down. Besides that, I have asthma and diabetes. This is why it's so important to stay home if you do have flu or cold-like symptoms. Coming into close contact with someone like Lewis, even if you don't know it, can have serious repercussions. You have to really care about your neighbor. The CDC says for most people, becoming seriously ill from the virus is thought to be low. But older adults and people of any age with underlying health conditions like MS are at greater risk for COVID-19. You know, I could obviously get really sick quickly. But Lewis is not panicking about the situation. Are you concerned going into the next couple weeks with all of this fear about COVID-19? You know, I have a lot of faith, but it just, you know, God's got this. She hopes others will not panic as well and just be considerate of others like her. So you just try not to touch anybody and, and just use your hand sanitizers and wash your hands a lot. All right, folks, here are the keys to slowing this virus down. Wash your hands as often as you can. Make sure you use hot water, soap, and wash at least 20 to 30 seconds. Avoid touching your face, coming, to, uh, coming into contact with sick people and anyone who has been exposed. And most importantly, don't go out in public if you get sick.